Hi guys, this next clip, this is all about my parking brake and my auto hold. Uh, you're going to notice this is my centre console where the gear lever is and, sorry to get my finger out of the way there, there is no handbrake lever which would normally be here, which people normally grab and pull up to apply the parking brake or handbrake as it used to be called. Uh, instead what we've now got is what's called an electronic parking brake. So, this is your parking brake symbol here, so any round icon with a bracket either side is meant to be representing a wheel with a brake pad either side and because it's got P in the middle of it that means P for parking. So this is parking brake. It does work in the same manner as your uh, physical handbrake that you might be used to uh, if you've driven before in that lifting it, same as lifting the, the lever that applies your parking brake and pushing it down releases the parking brake on this vehicle. Um, parking brake on this car because it's electronic it is designed to release itself um, automatically so we do have to change the way we move off uh, from what we used to teach a long time ago um, it would now be like a clutch down put, it, put myself into gear number one apply some gas and then look around the vehicle keep the clutch pedal down because as soon as I lift the clutch pedal slightly that's telling the car that I want to move and this parking brake will release itself and let the car move so we don't have to release this manually, the car will release it for you, uh, and it will release it for you as soon as you begin to release the clutch pedal. Okay, that's my parking brake um, explained on how it operates. Some errors that it's managed to uh, eradicate that uh, new drivers tend to make when they've got a handbrake lever. Um, sometimes with a handbrake is the pupil pulls it up far too high. Um, so it's on too tight and then when they want to move they struggle to release the handbrake they can't get the button in and therefore they're stuck unable to move fighting with this handbrake lever so that's not possible anymore another one would be sometimes people press the button on the end of the, of the lever and try to drop the lever down um, and a handbrake lever will not drop to the bottom by itself you have to physically push it all the way down to the end um, if they try to drop it, it means that they're gonna, they are going to drive away with the parking brake still applied, um, and that's not going to be good for the parking brake at all. That's going to cause it a lot of uh, unnecessary wear and tear from that. Um, and the last thing um, with the parking brake, when it, when it was a, a physical handbrake lever, that I found pupils used to do would be uh, not put it up enough. So they just put it up a little way and then they relax their feet off the pedals, let go of the brake pedal and then the car starts rolling either forwards or backwards, depending on the incline of the road because they haven't pulled the parking brake up enough. They're not secured the car properly. So those three faults um, are now not possible with this parking brake. So electronic parking brake is a lot safer. Uh, it also means that if you ever do park your car, as some people have done in the past, uh, they might have jumped out quickly to do something, leaving the children in the car and the children are mucking about inside the vehicle and one of them's kicked the handbrake lever and it's knocked it down and the car rolls off with only the children in the car, which is obviously not safe at all. Um, that's not possible. So if I press this now, it's not releasing the parking brake because I cannot release it unless I hold the foot brake with my right foot and then press this. So accidentally releasing the parking brake is not possible anymore. So electronic parking brake is a, a really good uh, additional bit of technology that's been applied to vehicles now. And it's beginning to work its way down through all the vehicles as the technology gets cheaper to manufacture. Okay, related to it, um, which is below that, is a similar brake icon as the parking brake icon, but this one's got an A in it, which stands for auto hold. And what auto hold does, you can see it's lit to the word on, so it's actually active at the moment. Auto hold means that when I stop the car, so I'm going to brake, 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 and clutch down to stop. Actually, I'll do that now, um, because I'm on my driveway, I'm on private property, I can do this. Um, auto hold basically means that once you have stopped, after about one second of holding the foot brake, this icon that I'm pointing at will appear. Uh, up here in the center console just above my speed that's displayed uh, to tell me the auto hold is active and that means the car is holding itself still so the car's keeping the foot brake applied for you so I am going to just gently creep forward and there we go and I'm going to go brake 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 clutch down and about one second there you go auto hold icon is lit so I can secure the car by putting the gear into neutral 
and let go of my pedals and the green icon is staying lit, auto hold is on. So that's keeping my foot brake applied. Now, it's a good system. It really helps with hill starts, etc. Once Once you get used to it, it's really nice. Hill starts are much easier now. Um, this is useful for when you're paused for, you know, just a very short period of time. I, I was still teaching people uh, a little cheesy phrase. Well, there's a couple of them actually. Um, one would be when the pause becomes a weight, we will put parking brake on. Told to car still, parking brake's more secure than auto hold. Um, and the reason, main reason I would do that as well, also is at night time your brake lights could be dazzling the car behind you, and if you are sitting at traffic lights, etc. Auto hold um, on this vehicle stays on for approximately three minutes. So that could be three minutes of you dazzling the driver behind you with your brake lights lit. Whereas once the parking brake's on, your brake lights go out from that. Okay, so that is my auto hold and park electronic parking brake explained.